Previously on Norage's Nook, I showed you how I used hot glue to make these beautiful mats, which you can try. If you haven't watched this video yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. For today's video, we're going to go straight into it. Sure real. hello beautiful people welcome back again to my channel my name is nora g i know it's been a while but yes your girl is back i'm back with some goodies for you so before we get started i would love to acknowledge our sponsors for today teddy blake new york so our lovely friends at teddy blake new york sent me this beautiful designer handbag made in italy using luxury leather guys so keep in mind each teddy blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your everyday fashion choice so for my fashion lovers because i know you guys love DIYs, decor stylish things so i believe this bag would do you a favor all right so right now they actually have up to 60 percent off on your website you can use my code tbnorag30 for an extra 30 dollars off with that said let's get back to the work at hand which is our DIY and also just keep in mind that I'll have the link to Teddy Blake's website in the description box below as well as the code you can use to get extra 30 off all right so for our DIY today I'll be using pool noodles like I had already said from my title uh, these are from the Dollar Tree so I will be using these to create some beautiful home decor very easy and straight to the point I'll also be using this mirror, which you guys obviously would have seen, could have seen on my channel many, many, many times. And you're still going to see a lot of this as well um, as part of this DIY. Before I proceed, I'll be covering the mirror area because I will end up spray painting this. And I wouldn't want that to get onto this. Just watch as I do this. All right, so um, the pieces that I had cut out, I'll go ahead to glue them on here. So I know, yes, you're wondering, did I measure the size of what I was cutting out? No, I just eyeballed it. But my recommendation would be to look at the size or the width of your mirror frame. And then you can go ahead to use that to measure out how much um, gaps you want to have um, when cutting out your pool noodles. So I'm using hot glue to glue this together because of course foam and hot glue go very well together. This is not going anywhere. So you could also use alternatively uh, tacky glue, Mod Podge, you name it. So I am actually not gluing the, the circles on the sides as you notice just the part that is touching the mirror and then the second row I'm just gluing it on top of that this is because I will be using Mod Podge overall once I am done gluing all of this together so that this will hold this in place and also so that when I spray paint it the spray paint is not going to erode into the foam just watch as I complete this Okay, so another option would be for you to actually have this glued onto cardboard or foam board uh, if you're looking to making this larger than I am going to be making today. So today I'm not attaching it onto anything, so it's supporting or holding itself um, by itself. So I will go ahead and use Mod Podge over it like I had mentioned before. Well, as it is the tradition in Norwich's Nook, you already know what's coming, right? Anyways, if you've watched right up to this point, I would love it if you can comment pool noodles in the comment section and show your girls some love. So once this was all dry, I'll let it dry and then I'll go ahead and spray paint it. And this is what our final look will be like. What do you think? I love how this turned out. 
so yes i can actually still see some areas at the top that is still a little bit pink that is because i ran out of gold spray paint and it was really too late for me to go get some more but you get the drift all right so if you're doing to try this i recommend spray painting it both sides just so you don't have any reflection of the color of the bow noodles showing through your design All right, I personally really loved how this turned out and the most interesting part of it all is the fact that it is very lightweight. You all know how pool noodle is very light, so using that to create a design as such, be sure to know that it's not going to weigh too much on your walls. So if you have like a, a lighter wall and you want to be your very careful person, you can actually just use this and also use command hooks to put them on your wall without any damage, without any nails. Now on to DIY number two. All right, so yeah, we're using our blue pool noodles. This time around, I'll be cutting out three sizes. However, towards the end of this video, as you would see, I ended up using only two sizes, not all three. Just watch as I do this. All right, so I the intention was to make three different layers um, around the mirror for this one. But as I went on to glue it together, I realized or quickly realized that I would need more than extra support in order to make it that large. So the reason why I'll be doing just two um, layers around my mirror. All right, so I find pool noodles very interesting to cut. I was using my bread knife to do this, and it was so much fun just cutting through of all of them. Anyways, that's on our side. So of course, I'll be using the same kind of mirror, just like from our first DIY, and doing the needful. Once I had that area all covered up, we go ahead to place our pool noodles around the mirror to make sure that we have enough, and also that it's spaced properly before I will go ahead to hot glue them down. Just watch as I do this. All right, so now that I saw that everything was in place and perfectly so, I went ahead to use my hot glue to glue them together. Alright, so once this was all done for the first layer, I will go ahead to do the same for the second. So this is the second size that I made. Once again, I did not measure this. Uh, you can eyeball just like I did, but if you really want to go with some measurement, you can choose to do like two inches and then the next can be three inches and then the next one can be four. Just one inch is more. One inch more. <laughs> My apologies. All right, so um, once I had that all sorted, I went ahead to glue them down as well. And this is what it looked like once I was done gluing them. However, because I want this to be very sturdy, I'll be using these peaks to actually link the bigger size with the smaller ones on this back side of our mirror. In case you were wondering um, how I hang the first wall decor which is the same way i'll be doing for the second you can see it already has an area on the back that you can actually hang on the wall all right so now it is very very sturdy it's not going anywhere we'll go ahead to spray paint this this time around i will spray paint this black you can spray paint it whatever color you want so this is what it looks like once i was done I loved how this turned out and I love that the black was matte. So what do you think? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. There I have both of them together and I really really love the black and gold idea. So that is basically all I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. And also do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. 
Thank you for watching and have a great day.